afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dr. John Belkowitz. I'm the Director of Research and Development at Intelligent Concrete, where we make concrete do the impossible. It's Math Monday. I don't really know if it's Monday, but it's a math day, and we are in maturity, wait, concrete maturity week. That's how you say it. Um, and I wanted to go over for Math Monday the maturity method. And Patchouli was drawing this out, air high five. Ding! Was drawing this out. She asked me, where is the starts with an E, ends with an equation? Where's the equation? And I said, Patchouli, we're not doing this today. There's no equations. The kids woke up last night around 2 o'clock and started throwing up. So we're going to go more of the hand waving, the theory behind it, and it's the, the name of the practice that I want to focus on. So if we're looking at ASTMC 1074 or the truncated method as proposed by your Department of Transportation or state agency, we're looking at the maturity method for concrete, a way to predict concrete strength. Now, the word maturity is very important and that's what we need to focus on today. So we have two temperature versus time curves here. Uh, a graph that Patchouli did, um, both of them on the same axis, good job, um, or on the same plane, and you see that they both seem to have a very similar area within the curve, albeit this one rises to a greater temperature over a shorter period of time, and this one, not as high of a temperature, and to get that same area, we need a little bit more time, and that's maturity. This all gets back to the strength of the concrete, and that's why it's important when you develop your original maturity curves or your reference curves on the mix that you'll be using in the field, you want to do it in a standard environment, at least in my opinion, as well as ASTMC 1074. And the reason is, is you want to identify what your concrete is supposed to do in a standardized environment, not the environment in the field, but a standardized, a perfect world, standardized environment, so that when you go to the field, you can see, okay, if it's getting a little warmer or a little colder, I need, or I know what I need to do to get to that same maturity level, and then of course that relates back to the strength of your concrete. So that's the definition of maturity, and let's say we have the same mix, poured on a hotter day, this is what your maturity curve would look like, versus a colder day, this is what your maturity curve would look like. So, in essence, whatever my reference told me on a warmer day, it doesn't take me as much time to get to that maturity and that strength. On a colder day, I might have to wait a little bit longer to get to that same maturity or strength. So, hope you learned something from this. Let us know if you have any questions or concrete concerns. I forgot to tell you to like and subscribe in the beginning, but also ring the bell. And seriously, if you have any questions, let us know what we can do for you. Thanks again for your time. Go concrete! Beat asphalt!